how I'm going to start off is I want to try and paint the picture. Imagine this place, pre-contact. No buildings, no cars, no trams, no office of housing, pristine land. Mob met there for ceremony and around our ceremonies we had the fire, people dancing, telling stories, passing on stories to the young ones. From the early 1930s, there was about a dozen Aboriginal families, from, prominent Aboriginal families from all over this state moved to Fitzroy, but it was a place where we come to meet, find our family, find our friends, our community. In the uh, 70s, you had a lot of people coming out of institutions, homes, stolen children, wards of the state, looking for family, would come to Fitzroy. Where we stand now, was one of the most famous parking spots of all. They drank and they talked and they sang in Gummies Lane, right here, Charcoal Lane, which Archie Roach made famous, Lopez Lane, the hole in the wall. These are all great places, not just of catching up with people and particularly elders that knew the history of this state, this great, great black state. Their fire, the Parkies fire today, it's the same fire that's here and the same fire that started when the Fitzroy Blacks first came to, to Fitzroy way back in the 20s and 30s. And the Parkies are the ones keeping the fire going now, symbolically. And this is Princess of the Parkies. Denise Lovett's daughter, Lorena Lovett. Hello. What do the Parkies mean to you? The Parkies, they're my life, they're my family, they're my identity. Um, these fellas taught me a lot of things as I was growing up. They taught me how to be strong, how to deal with things like my mum. But they're a big structure in mine, my kids' life, my kids are dorm. They talk to the kids about our history and, and teach them how to, to love other people and, and be kind. Hand in hand they will go Down city streets you know Up to charcoal lane community going back in the 70s and what an amazing experience that was for me. Remember in 1967 Aboriginal people weren't considered um, worthy enough to become citizens of this land in 1967. When that did happen uh, and we were allowed to uh, run and control organisations of our own, within five years we had established our own community controlled health service. The George White Hostel was set up for homeless men. We also uh, pioneered uh, women's refuges, childcare, north to five clinics. And I grew up with that era. It's a little glimpse of what used to happen here. This was an incredible society, you know? Incredible. This was a black Rome. This was a black Rome, man. And we had no Senate except the Senate that sat amongst us. Some of which sat in this park, some of which sat in these hotels, some of which sat in that church, Gore Street. But we were one community and we fought and everything that we fought for, that's what this community, the legacy they've left this town. Remember on whose land you stand and it's, yes, it's the Wurundjeri and it's the Fitzroy Blacks. Thank you. You gotta roll with the rhythm. You gotta learn. Take it slow. Now this is the part that I really love. Said when I get back to Fitzroy, I'm gonna let all those coolies know. Did you hear what I said? I said when I 
take it back to Fitzroy. I'm gonna let all those Tories know. That when you sing the blues in Fitzroy, you gotta learn to take it slow. Fitzroy, Fitzroy, said when I get back to Fitzroy, I'm gonna let all those rich cowboys know. You know the ones with all the money. I said when I get back to Fitzroy, I'm gonna let all those Tories know. That when you sing the blues in Fitzroy, you gotta learn to take it.